Remember, the answer needs to be less and it needs to involve equal groups. Okay, so we're looking for what we have left over at the end is less or the number in each box is less, but then we, have, we definitely need to have equal groups in order to divide. So division tells you how many equal groups or how many in each group. If you know the number of equal groups, you can use a bar diagram. So your totals at the top, you have four equal groups and you wanna know how many in each group. If you know the number of items in each group, then you can draw your box, put your items in it and keep drawing your boxes until you get to the total number that you have. Complete the bar diagram to solve two different stories for 18 divided by three. There are 18 hockey pucks shared equally among three teams. How many pucks does each team get? So we have a total of 18 pucks and it's being shared equally among three teams. So this is a very good division word problem. We wanna know how many pucks does each team get. We have a total number. We're gonna divide it equally, which means equal group, among three teams. And we know that the number of pucks that each team is going to get is less than 18. So that means all the criteria and definitions for a good division word problem. So there are three teams. We wanna do basically 18 divided into groups of three. So what number times three equals 18? Pause it and think about it. What number times three equals 18? So we should come up with six. So six plus six plus six. Six plus six is 12 plus another six. Oops, don't regroup. There we go, equals 18. Two plus six is eight, no need to carry. And one, bring it down. So there are six pucks in three equal groups. So 18 divided by three equals six. Each team gets six hockey pucks. Okay, here's another great division math story or word problem. Aurora has 18 cat treats. She gives each cat three treats. How many cats get treats? So what's our total number? It would be 18. She has a total of 18 cat treats. She gives each cat three treats, we have to keep drawing these boxes until we run out of our 18, right? Three plus three is six, nine, 12, 15, 18. So if you know that three, three times three is nine, you could do like that. Nine plus nine is 18. So there are There are three treats and a total of six equal groups. So 18 divided by three is six. So six cats get treats. Okay. Complete the bar diagram to represent the story, then solve. In a basketball game, Hoyt scores 24 points by making Three point shots. That's where you, you shoot it from really far away and you get you get it in, you get three points for each one. How many shots does he take? So how many baskets does he make at three points each to get to 24? So we have equal groups because each shot is three points. We have a total of 24 points. He gets three points for each shot. So we just keep having to add groups of three here until we get to 24. So we knew here that three times three was nine, right? We had, we had six of these to get to 18. So that's nine, two, three, that's another nine. So nine plus nine was 18. So we're at 18 right here. So add three more is 21, three more is 24. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are three points in equal groups of eight. So 24 divided by eight equals three, he makes eight three-point shots. Okay, write a division story for you have 48 of something. You divide them into some number of equal groups and you get eight in each group. 
Write your story to ask how many groups there are. Use counters or draw a picture to solve. Well, counters can be a little challenging for 48 because you probably don't have 48 counters at home. But you can draw a picture, okay? So let's start with you have a total of 48 something. So you need to come up with a, with a story of 48 something. So 48 something. I'm going to use 48 Tootsie Rolls since we're in Halloween madness. Okay, 48 Tootsie Rolls. We're going to put them into very cute wrapped individual goodie bags. And we're going to put eight in each goodie bag. Okay. Now we have to keep figuring out. So we're going to do 48 divided by some number of bags is going to equal eight Tootsie Rolls in each bag. So pause it and keep drawing your goodie bags with eight in each one. And you probably, you know, you add those two together, see what those are, and then keep adding them up on the side. Or if you know eight times three, you can work with that. So pause it and see and work it out. Okay, so we know eight times eight is 16. Or I'm sorry, eight times two, eight plus eight. So 16 plus 16 is 32. We're not yet at 48 here. So let's do another group of eight. Okay, and let's add 16 plus 16 plus 16 because 10 plus 10 plus 10 is 30. So we, we gotta be pretty close. So 16 plus 16 plus 16. That's 18. Oh, 48, we're there. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six times eight, don't be late, leaving from gate, 48. Okay, I want you on the back, since we did this one together, I want you to write a division story. So you have to make up the story about, um, there are 48 Tootsie Rolls divided um, into bags of eight. We would have said how many bags did we use okay so on the back I want you to come up with a whole nother story and let's do we'll make it um, 12 divided by some number equals 4 so come up with a division problem on the back where you're going to start with 12 something and you're going to divide it up into some number of equal groups and there's four in each group. So you can be 12 dividing it by a certain number of friends and they each get four. Or you have um, 12 pencils and you're going to give four to each friend how many friends get pencils, something like that. But you have to make it up for your division problem. Remember the answer, this needs to get smaller and you need to have equal groups, okay? And you can show me tomorrow. Good job.